Once again a warm welcome to Petals of Biology. In this video tutorial I would like to discuss with you industrial microbiology. Various microbes are used for the large scale production of substances or chemicals which are used in the daily life of mankind. These substances include organic acids, alcohols, vinegar, antibiotics, vaccines, bread, dairy products, etc. Alcoholic fermentation Large number of microorganisms both bacteria and fungi are used in alcoholic fermentation. Of these, Saccharomyces cerevisiae is the most important one. Beer, rum, whiskey, wine and several other beverages are all the products of yeast fermentation. The nature of the beverage depends on the material fermented and the strains of the yeast used in fermentation. For example, beer is made by yeast fermentation of grains to ethanol and carbon dioxide. Rum is a product of blackstrap molasses fermentation and whiskey is the product of corn and rye fermentation. For the production of wine, grapes are fermented by yeast. In this case, soluble sugars such as glucose and fructose are converted to carbon dioxide and ethyl alcohol. In order to get the desired quality of wine, ethyl alcohol is further fermented by using microbes such as pediococcus, leuconostoc, lactobacillus, etc. Production of Organic Acids Several microbes are used in the commercial production of a variety of organic acids. Citric acid is manufactured by fermenting sucrose and molasses by the species of Penicillium and Aspergillus. Acetic acid is produced by fermenting sugary solutions. Lactic acid is produced by the fermentation of sugars by Lactobacillus and Streptococcus lactis. Production of Vinegar There are two steps in the production of vinegar. In the first step, the starchy or sugary material is fermented by Saccharomyces cerevisiae to yield alcohol. Then the oxidative transformation of alcohol into acetic acid is carried out by Acetobacter and Leuconobacter. The starting substrates may be fruits like grapes, oranges, apples, pears, etc. Vegetables, malted cereals and sugary syrups are also used. The type of vinegar is determined by the starting material. Wine vinegar is made from grapes whereas cedar vinegar is made from other fruits. Production of Vitamins Several vitamins are produced by microbes as primary growth products or as byproducts in certain microbial reactions. Vitamin B12 is commercially produced by Streptomyces and Bacillus when they are grown in a nutrient medium containing molasses. Riboflavin is produced as a growth product of Clostridium acetobutylicum. Production of Antibiotics Antibiotics are antimicrobial agents of microbial origin. Most antibiotics are industrially produced by microbial fermentation, though some are now synthetically produced. The production of vaccines against viruses is achieved by growing the virus in an animal body or chick embryo. Now, the vaccines are also produced in tissue cultures. Insulin Production Insulin is an important drug produced commercially by the use of genetically engineered bacteria. Before the discovery of genetic engineering techniques, insulin used to be obtained from animal pancreatic tissue. By recombinant DNA technology, the human gene coding for insulin could be introduced into Exertia coli. This transgenic bacterium can be grown in cultures in large numbers and thus industrial production of human insulin through a microorganism can be made feasible. 
human insulin is produced through genetic engineering methods. Baking industry Saccharomyces cerevisiae or yeast is commonly used to leaven the bread to give it the desired flavor and also for conditioning the bread. Yeast produces carbon dioxide and alcohol by the fermentation of carbohydrates. The carbon dioxide produced during fermentation is responsible for the leavening of the dough. Some bacteria like Streptococcus lactis, Lactobacillus sacei are used to improve the flavor of the dough and the quality of the bread. Dairy products Various dairy products such as curd, cheese, butter, etc. are obtained by the activity of lactic acid bacteria. These bacteria convert the lactose sugar present in milk into lactic acid. As a result, milk becomes sour and milk protein casein gets separated. Some microbes which ferment milk are Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus helvicticus, Lactobacillus plantarum, Streptococcus lactis, etc. Cheese making is an important microbiological process in dairy industry. The first step known as curdling involves the separation of milk protein casein from whey. The second step involves the ripening of the solid curd by the action of bacteria and fungi. Some important microbes associated with cheese manufacturing are Streptococcus lactis, Streptococcus cremoris, Leuconostos citrovorum, etc. Production of single cell protein SCP or single cell protein is the product of unicellular microorganisms. Unicellular microorganisms can be grown as a source of protein called SCP. They are so called because the microorganisms are single celled and they are rich in protein. SCP could be nutritionally complete fruit source and its production requires only minimum of land, time and cost. The advantages of SCP production are the following. Microorganisms have a very short generation time. Microorganisms can be genetically modified to get the desirable results. The protein content of microorganisms is very high. SCP production can be carried out in continuous cultures without the effect of climatic changes. A large number of algae, yeast, mold, bacteria, etc. have been studied as single cell protein sources. Production of enzymes Several microbes synthesize large quantities of enzymes which can be obtained on a commercial scale. Amylase, cymase, invertase, glucose oxidase, pectinase and protease are some of the enzymes synthesized by microbes. Amylase is obtained from Aspergillus oraceae, Aspergillus niger, etc. Cymase and invertase are obtained from Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Pectinase is obtained from the species of Penicillium. Proteases and peptidases are obtained from Aspergillus oraceae and Bacillus subtilis. Microbes in agriculture Microbes play an important role in agriculture in many ways such as biological nitrogen fixation, sewage treatment and waste recycling, Bioconversion of cellulose and lignocellulose, mobilization of insoluble phosphorus through ecto and endomycorrhizae, and the preparation of new pesticides and bioinsecticides. An insecticide is prepared from Bacillus thuringiensis and is very effective on a large number of Lepidopteran insect pests of crops. Cotton, brinjal, etc., are incorporated with. Bacillus thuringiensis gene through genetic engineering technique and produce Bt brinchal and Bt cotton. They are having resistance against the insects. Microbes in petroleum industry. Microorganisms are also involved in such diverse areas as petroleum formation, exploration for petroleum, cleanup of oil spills, etc. Many microbes can utilize hydrocarbons as the source of carbon and energy. 
and they can degrade petroleum hydrocarbons both in marine and freshwater environments. Pseudomonas putida, Acromobacter, etc. are some of the examples. Clostridium perfringens, Begiatova alba are some important microbes associated with petroleum formation. Friends, we have discussed several industrial products of microbial origin in this lecture. I hope this lecture made worse to you. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.